Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim Enchantress. I'm here to do your full moon reading for the lunar eclipse. And it is on the 5th of June, 15 degrees in Sagittarius. So I have picked a significator card here for you, Pisces. And um, we also have Mars and Venus in the reading as well, but we'll get to that. So what a lunar eclipse means is it's when the sun, earth and moon align together and then they cast a shadow over the moon. So the moon's always about our emotions, creativity, things that are hidden that need to come to the surface. Now it's really about coming to important internal realizations where we get that aha moment, oh, like the light bulb turns on or moments that seem to forever separate our lives into a before or after state. Now, while the lunar eclipse creates a big internal change, the solar eclipse on the 21st tends to be a little bit more obvious because it's about our egos and our external self. These eclipses um, is all about the outer physical world changing around us, which is happening pretty much for the last few months. And... This is all um, about taking what we've learned from the fifth, the lunar eclipse, and making those changes in our lives. It takes us out of our comfort zone, onto a different path, and it's going to be life-changing. Now, we've also got lunar eclipse squaring Mars, which is going to bring anger to the surface. And you could lose your temper with bosses or loved ones, family, friends. Now... We also have the lunar eclipse opposite Venus, the planet of love. And this brings potential for laziness and being careless and overspending with money. So we need to watch that. A um, bit of indiscretion in love. Now, if you're dating here, Pisces, um, you may lower your standards just to be with someone, possibly due to loneliness. And if you're already attached, there's tension in the air. And this is going to arise because of different mood swings um, and different needs that we want around the lunar eclipse. Now, Venus also goes retrograde and um, this is going to make uh, giving and receiving love and affection a little bit more difficult. Um, maybe it's due to financial stress around this time. We do have um, also old friends or lovers may reappear or you may relive a past life experience just to sort out your karmic debt. But on the more positive side, we've got uh, pleasant destiny encounters, which are quite possible. And you could find your soulmate if you're single or maybe if you're looking. Now, it's bringing a lot of love-hate energy because Venus is squaring Mars also. And this is increasing our sex drive, our libido, and if you're dating, there's going to be a lot of sexy action happening. But you just need to take care that you don't lower your standards. Do it for the right reasons. Don't put yourself at risk because um, you're feeling emotionally drained or you're just confused about things that are not coming to the surface. Now, a healthy relationship can also suffer around this time. And... Um, if it's a difficult relationship, this is going to be a build-up of sexual frustration. And the way it's expressed could be a little bit of a hate-aggression type of feeling. So you need to be careful around this time. Now, we have um, what I'm feeling from these cards. You're defending something that you cherish, obviously, spiritually. And it's something that you um, has been relayed to you in your dreams. Now, why I'm saying this too is because the moon's come up for you with the Lenormand card. So it's very powerful here. Something that's um, very meaningful to you has been shown to you in your dreams. And you need to energize this around the solar eclipse. Now, it's an idealization that you've um, come to know. And it's something that you're going to be part of that's very overwhelming to you. Now, we have the chess queen, and this came out from one of the other cards. Um, don't quote me who it was now. But this is about um, you have your plans in place, but 
God has other plans for you. So it's about letting spirit make your next move. If you can see the chessboard here, she's sitting on the chessboard. You have spirit behind her. You've got the sun coming through. So this is going to happen on the solar eclipse. But I'm just going to lead, read a little bit into that for you. So just give me a second while I find the page. Okay. So the chess queen has all the tools you need to add to your quest of, for your life purpose. Now this is to find um, peace and prosperity. When the chess queen arrives as your ally, you're given the task of asking spirit for a vision of your life. And that's what you've done. You've got a vision and it comes through your dreams. Now, you also have to know that the right action to ensure your path in the process of unfolding. So then, when, with a sense of trust, allow the strategy to be given unto you by the divine. So don't follow your own strategies. Follow the one of the, the, the divine. You've been specially given this through your dreams. Are your own goals and desires in alignment with the divine plan for your life? This is a reminder here, Pisces, that um, there is your plan and then there is the divine plan for your life. When you're in alignment with the later, all manner of messages are delivered to, to your aid to help you um, to take the next right action for your life. Now the chess queen says that you will win this game as long as you let spirit choose your moves. Follow your bliss and the inspired messages delivered by your soul. You cannot lose when you enter the realm of the chess queen and she appears as your ally. So beautiful. So whatever you've been trying to put together, don't worry about your plans because God's already shown you in your dreams or in your vision. Maybe you're very intuitive and you had a vision. Now, with the... Um, underneath the deck, I have the mice and the bouquet. So the mice is normally about stress, but it could be anticipation too um, that you you're having so um, maybe this is just your feelings that are a little bit anxious at the moment and uh, something because something happy is awaiting you and with the bouquet this is uh, lovely feelings you know um, your emotions being happy for some of you this could be in the visual art sector too so maybe because the moon is very creative so that's a lovely message that's coming through now I'm just going to turn, oh sorry, we'll go on with the Romance Angel card. Now it has something to do with a commitment, a wedding. Um, it definitely involves a wedding of some sort. So these are your emotions coming to forefront. Maybe the virtual side of uh, creating things is how you're going to dress, how you're going to have your flowers, etc. if you're a woman. Now I'm just going to turn these cards around to see what your outcome will be. Here, Pisces, just bear with me. Now, definitely spiritually, this is going to be the ultimate experience for you around the 21st of um, June. On a mental capacity, your intellect, you need to trust your psychic knowledge. So whatever God has put in your thoughts, your visions, trust it. Don't think it's just, you know load of baloney you are very intuitive Pisces and trust that this is what uh, spirit has given you now physically this is going to result from an indecision about something so maybe you've uh, were a bit undecisive in the past because we've got the clouds also under the picture and this is uh, about being foggy and that's usually around the moon the full moon the lunar eclipse Things are still to be revealed. So you've got a lot of uncertainty here. But it could be to do with a friend as well. So remember to let spirit make your next moves. Because you're going to um, have a beautiful feeling. Beautiful feelings coming up. You're going to experience something that's ultimate. The ultimate. And it has something to do with a wedding. So if this is not you, it may be somebody you know. Take it in your situation here, Pisces. So that sounds beautiful. Love and blessings to you all. Bye for now.